Hello, we continue our series of videos regarding transmission and reception of data via RS-232 in ESP IDF environment for ESP32 processor. In this video, we're going to talk about reception of a string inside ESP32 it's it's a very similar code to the one we do a few videos ago with reception of character but here we dive a little bit deeper in the string transmission what we are basically doing we put the following string in the following data form inside ESP32 and from one ESP32 transmitting it to another ESP32 and um, our pinout is as follows it's the same pinout as, as in the previous video we connect the TX transmission zero group to the RX in the receiver uh, zero, RX zero group and in this way we connect two ESP32s and enable transmission from one ESP32 with the following form to another ESP32. Uh, just to zoom in, in the previous video we talked about how we can generate this pattern from ESP32 to the scope and this is what we got on the scope. In this video we are taking the same ESP32 and transmitting it to another ESP32. What you see here is a binary representation of zeros and ones and decoding of the binary representation we are basically sending hello world. As always uh, we have our codes in the repository because the code are very similar, practically the same. In, we put the same inside the receive repository and inside receive repository you have the old code, the receive char and the new one, receive string. We are going to work with this code, receive string, here. Uh, it's the same uh, expressive documentation, the UR documentation and uh, we are working according to the same uh, documentation page. What we are doing, we are copying the code from the repository to, the, to our editor. Let's run the code. And what we are trying to see is the receive hello world statement from another ESP32. Right now, the transmitter is disconnected and our uh, uh, are uploading the code only to the receiver ESP32. As you can see here, he doesn't receive any data. Now I will connect the other ESP32, the ESP reboots, strangely enough, and uh, now we see the data, hello world, and every five seconds you receive data which includes hello world. Uh, how this code is uh, done? We'll stop it. Um, okay. The same includes the same UART zero TX and RX definition, including GPIO one and GPIO three, which we explained in the previous videos. The RS-232 initiation is the same as in the transmission video. We define the group, the zero group, which is important, the buffer size, and define the queue handler, because in for transmission and reception via the RS-232 protocol, we use the buffer uh, to receive and transmit the data and this queue is managing this buffer. Uh, our first stage is exactly the same, we're defining the RS-232 configuration which includes a baud rate, 
uh, how many bits we have uh, and our data the priority bit in priority bit uh, zero and so on and connect between two of them uh, we define the pins the same pins this and this one that were defined here and then we install the drivers with the buffer size for reception and the transmission the only change in this program that we will receive data and then uh, print the data by initiating and and uh, going on with the rx task is the rx task and here is the change that uh, was uh, mentioning first we define the port of course our, it's our zero group rxtx we define the length of the string variable and we define the data buffer very interesting uh, command and here i think it's uh, worth while mentioning is you are get buffer data length this command initiate and put the relevant string size into the length variable and without this command it won't work after it we are going to our buffer to our queue and take the data uh, from uh, with the relevant length uh, from the buffer in order to print the data we have to define the string length which is defined by dot and asterisk and this is replaced by string length and then the actual string which is the data so this command is printing the de defined data with defined length so here you see data this one data hello world data hello world with de de defined lengths and defined characters and then we wait for five seconds okay guys this is the code for the string uh, transmission we are rs232 thank you